previously on Beanie Boo Survivor, the Doomed Duos. It was the very first indoor challenge of the season, and the teams had to create advertisements for a random item that they picked out of a jar. And let's just say that both the teams didn't hit the best items to advertise. Thanks to a lot of satanic rituals and a diarrhea incident, Team Avara won the challenge and Team Hiri sent home King and Ramsey and I'm pretty sure all of us are glad they're gone. Coming up next, who is going to be jumping out of the game next? Find out now on Beanie Boo Survivor The Doom Duos. Okay, so like I was thinking, what if we teamed up together and like formed an alliance between our duos? Yeah, we're all new here. That sounds fun. What about you? Uh, maybe. We'll see about that. Oh, come on, please. Spirit and I are the only boys on our team, so I told Helena that maybe we should try and form an alliance with Laney and Spirit, and she thought that was a good idea, so hopefully they agreed to that. That'd be pretty fun. And we could also give them fashion tips. Woohoo! I mean, uh, an alliance is cool and all, but you saw Nori and Twitty's alliance last season, and we all know how that ended. So I'm just a little bit on edge right now. OMG, hi, Slit. Hi, Spirit. We were thinking, if you date us, we'll pay you money. Uh, screw off. Uh, and I thought that you would actually, like... Or I would actually forgive you for being rude. I said, please go away. We are trying to have a conversation here. And you knocked over Slick's friend. Ow. Ugh, so much for an alliance blitz. Come on. We don't need to waste your our precious and rich time with you. Then what was the point of even coming over here? Those two are literally desperate for anything. Like, just to get further in the game, I don't understand what's with all the drama. Can we just, you know, have a fun time? The only reason me and Sweetum bothered to do anything with those losers was to see if we could get an alliance and then try to manipulate them to get us farther in the game. But of course it didn't work out because Rudy McRude German Shepherd had to go and mess everything up and then Fashion Addict Slit was irrelevant. I would tell you guys to quit fighting, but since it gives us ratings, keep on going ahead, but we still have a challenge to do. So, everyone gather over here. With your teams, of course. Alright, teams. Welcome to the challenge. If you didn't already notice, this challenge is going to be quite similar to Season 1, Episode 7's Embarrassment Plaza Challenge, just with a few extra steps. Because we're going to ask something embarrassing, and even if you don't respond, that we're still going to force you to do something anyways. How fun. For me. I'm starting to think that Crunch is a bit of a sociopath. It's really creepy. I know from whenever we did this challenge last season, a certain camper who's a kangaroo and has a name that starts with it, hey, didn't do very well in this challenge. So, it's time for me to destroy your self-esteem even more. First question. Oh my god, are you kidding me? This is the challenge that got me eliminated last season, and I don't want that to be a repeat. Who? What? Hold on, I need to take this. Hello? Yes, this is Crunch. Who is this? I'm trying to run our show here. Say your name. Oh, hi, Sweetums, Dad. Why are you calling me? Oh, my God, it's your dad. <gasps> yes, come on, Dad, do something good for once. You'll pay us how much money to make Sweetums not do anything embarrassing and her little partner, too? Oh, and you will give us how much money for letting them instantly win this challenge for their team? Deal! Avara, you guys automatically win, and we just got... $500,000 added to our show's budget. Woohoo! Yes! Woohoo! In your face, Spirit! Now you can't be rude to us! Oh, I can be rude whenever I want to. Yeah. That's not fair! Let's just get a to win the challenge! Now we have to send some home! Ugh. Yeah, that's not fair. As soon as I get the chance, those two rich girls are eliminated! Now that's just plain wrong. Okay, we just lost a challenge that we shouldn't have lost. So what do we do now? I don't know, but let's not vote each other off, okay? Yeah, we're gonna form an alliance starting now. Yes. Yeah, I was just agreeing. We know. So, what do we do now? I don't know. What about you, Fetch? What about you, Rainbow? <laughs> oh, um, 
I don't know. You go ahead. You go ahead. Okay, fine. We're just going to vote off whoever we think is the most of a threat. I would say the Dragon Trio. Yeah, there's three of them. But it includes Inora. I know, we all like Inora, but I'm, it has to be done. Okay, judging by the way they were acting back there, I'm pretty sure Fetch and Rainbow might start to, uh, light each other. Oh my gosh. Hopefully that doesn't get in the way with the game. Because I want to win. Okay, we're all in alliance together, and it seems that we're safe for tonight. We're in an alliance? I never agreed to this. Well, I did. We're in an alliance with them. Yeah, we are in an alliance. So, when do, if we lose, who do you think we should vote off next? Rich girls, for sure. But they each just pay to win every single challenge. But then, yeah, that's true, but still, they're snobs. Especially to you and Slit. What about you, Spirit? I don't know. You guys are the ones that agreed to this, not me. Oh, okay, then. Oh, my gosh. It's like the Avara Alliance. It's me, who has amazing fashion, Eleni, who is super nice, Slit, who is now my new best friend forever because he loves fashion, too, and then there's Spirit. He's like a male sugar. Bruh, I need to take a selfie. Ooh, that's it, everyone. I need to caption it. Oh, no, my team just lost a challenge. I hope I don't go home. Crying emoji, crying emoji, um, sad emoji, sad emoji, throwing up emoji. Oh, my gosh, really? Yes, really. One more selfie from you, and you hit a chunk a lot to the face. I'm so glad my dad paid for us to win this challenge. I mean, like, we're, like, super rich, so $500,000 is, like, toilet paper value to us. So, he's, like, the reason I won all the awards in my school for, like, most athletic, best dressed, nicest, all of that type of stuff. Because the other kids that were nominated sucked at them. Oh, my gosh. We just lost the challenge? It doesn't matter. We can get the ladies to vote not for us. Wow, so smart. What are you guys talking about? I'm talking about ladies, as always. Well, I find that weird. So did your weird teammate slip. All he cares about is fashion. He's weird. We should vote him off. Well, I don't think I'm going to do that. Hey, Slick, come over here. Now! Yeah? They said you're weird. And... I don't agree with that, so we have better places to be. Like where? Anywhere else. Come on, let's head out of this dump we call these two people's personalities. Oh my gosh, okay. One of the meanest people at this camp stood up for me. That's a surprise, and I thought he didn't even like me. Elimination ceremony, Team Kiri. Last time you were here, you sent King and Ramsey home. So let's see who goes next. On that note, it's time for you to vote. Oh gosh, I would hate to go home so early. Yeah. All right. Everyone has voted and it's time to reveal who's safe. If you don't receive a ping pong ball, you are going to be eliminated from the game. On that note, the first duo safe is... Witchy and Edgar. Fetch and Hipper, you are also safe. Rainbow and Scrappy, you are also safe. You! Which leaves two duos, or a duo and a trio. Aphrodite and Smooches, and the Dragon Trio. The Dragon Trio, you might be eliminated because you weren't very much of a help to the challenge. And Aphrodite and Smooches, you might be eliminated because, really, I don't know. But it doesn't matter because you are safe. Oh my gosh, you. I, I ate everything. <laughs> I didn't even get to go on a date with a lady. Ugh. Oh well. Bye, guys. Ugh. I hate all of you. Ugh. This is so stupid. Well, it was fun. Bye, everybody, and I'll see you soon. Uh, what does she mean by soon? How do you expect me to know that? Nonetheless, Three more campers down and 20 left in the race. 
Make sure to stay tuned for episode 5 to see who jumps their way at him next on Beanie Boo Survivor The Doomed Duos. My name's Crunch, and I'll see you then.